and so there was much in Richard Wagner for the Third Reich to draw on, because there is no composer in the history of German music who commented more extensively or more energetically on his work and the ideas behind it than did Richard Wagner. His artistic production aims expressly and programmatically at nothing less than a redemption of mankind from the degeneracy of the times by revival of an older, better world and in the belief that the highest purpose of mankind is artistic. In his obsession with redemption, Wagner sees a redeemed, revolutionized world as a de-Judaized humanity. And he concludes his essay on the Jews in music with the thought that the only salvation for the Jewish mind lies in annihilation. But Wagner does not specify what form the destruction should take, and a highly charged debate about his intentions continues to this day, as does the debate about whether Wagner's music should be performed in Israel at all. 